what's happening boys and girls? Welcome to Bedtime Stories with Keith Cruz. It was a Thursday night. Cruzy took all the boys out for a big feed up in Goodfellas. Pete, Jamesy, Tammy and all the rest of the boys. The buck fast was flowing. After the meal in the felons, Cruzy said to the lads, I think one of you is a tootin' bastard. And then he stuck her lips on his mate wee Judy. Before Keith knows it, the lads are in a big pub crawl up in the town. Keith is bad lips mate. The lads tell him he needs to go to bed. Keith tries to smack him and says, I'm alright. Even though he just poked his ring into an empty pack of potato cheese and onion. <laughs> Suddenly Keith feels himself being carried out of the bar and into a value cab. The boys had sent Cruzy home early. The wee taxi man, Beaky, used to play for the White Rock Whip at seconds with Keith. What a team that was. He escorts Keith up the stairs and puts him into bed, leaving a chest of drawers against the door in case Cruzy tries to escape. Beaky sits outside the room under strict instructions not to let Keith out. At midnight, a few of Cruzy's mates make a pit stop home to check on their big mate. Beaky tells the lads, It's okay, Keith's inside. I left the wee baraka and a tin of bush beside his bed for the morning. The boys take a wee peek inside anyway. They can't believe what they see. Keith Cruz is not in the room. They run downstairs. Jamesy asks Mrs. Cruz, Where's Keith? Mrs. Cruz calmly says, He's away back out, sure. Through bites of her nightly honey chilli chicken and gravy curry half and half. Some of the boys' wives were also out on the town that night. They heard about Keith via text. Suddenly, he walked past them at about half one outside Little Italy. Keith smiled at them and said, Tell the boys I'm back out. They'll know where to find me. The women gasped. Love, we thought you'd feel it. Keith just smiled and said, Nah. From their homes in Divis, all Keith's mates piled into a Ford Fiesta and headed back into the town. They soon found their big mate. He was very much alive, throwing shapes on the dance floor at Thompson's. They couldn't believe it. Tommy said, I can't believe it. The boy stayed out till about four. We girl after we girl in the smoking area coming up to Keith and saying, Are you the Keith Cruz? that scored a hat-trick in the final of the Harry Ramsden's Cup in 1997 for Sporting Short Strand Force. The next morning, over a big friend Maggie Mays, Keith said to the lads, There's a lesson in all this here. Do you know what it is? No, Keith. What is it, mate? Said the lads. Keith simply looked out the window and said, I know. The lads laughed their bags off. <laughs> Then Keith smacked Big Judy and bust his nose. Happy Easter everybody. Don't let the housebreakers be.